Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished colleagues, it is my pleasure to close this virtual training on biological preparedness and response for Nigeria, jointly organized by the United Nations Counterterrorism Center of the United Nations Office of Counterterrorism and the United Nations Office for Disarmament, UNODA, Biological Weapons Convention Implementation Support Unit. I'd like to extend special gratitude to our partners in UNODA, as well as in Nigeria, including the Office of the National Security Advisor, the Nigerian National Authority on Chemical and Biological Weapons Conventions, and the Permanent Mission of Nigeria to the United Nations in New York for their excellent cooperation in organizing this event. I take pride in the fact that our collaboration brings concrete results, engaging over 100 participants from 30 entities in Nigeria. This course builds upon three trainings on countering bioterrorism that the United Nations Counterterrorism Center has delivered in Nigeria in 2021 and gathered more than 177 participants. In this specific course on biological preparedness and response, we partnered with the United Nations Office of Disarmament Affairs under the National Preparedness Program funded by the European Council decision supporting the implementation of the Biological Weapons Convention. Ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates, it is not a coincidence that Nigeria pays special attention to the threat of bioterrorism. Recently, there have been a number of concerning incidents. For instance, an individual in Germany prepared an attack in the name of Daesh and manufactured an improvised explosive device containing ricin and several attempts of deliberate COVID-19 contamination through direct human-to-human -human contact have been recorded. Moreover, the United Nations investigative team to promote accountability for crimes committed by Daesh is investigating allegations of bioterrorism in Iraq. This con the concerns about the biological threats are aggravated by the consequences we face with the outbreak of COVID-19. The pandemic has highlighted the potential comparable effects that an act of bioterrorism could have. At the same time, new scientific developments and emerging technologies are transforming life, industry, and the global economy in positive ways. However, equally, through advancements in biotechnology, it is possible for terrorists with limited technical knowledge to develop or modify pathogens at home using readily accessible materials and equipment. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates, in his report, Our Common Agenda, the United Nations Secretary General, His Excellency Mr. Antonio Guterres, identified terrorism as a strategic risk and emphasized the need for preparedness, including in the event of a high-consequence biological attack. During the seventh review of the United Nations Global Counterterrorism Strategy last June, the United Nations General Assembly urged all member states to take and strengthen national measures as appropriate to prevent terrorists from acquiring weapons of mass destruction, their means of delivery, and related materials, equipment, and technologies related to their manufacture. I am proud to highlight that this year our program on preventing and responding to weapons of mass destruction, WMDs, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear weapons, which has been developed in line with the strategy, has delivered capacity-building activities for more than 1,200 participants and continues to work diligently to strengthen member states' national capacities to combat terrorism and crime, contributing to the implementation of the United Nations Sustainable Goal 16 on peace, justice, and strong institutions. I hope that this training on biological preparedness and response has fulfilled your expectations, providing you with knowledge on important topics such as risk assessments, identification, screening, sample collection, response, biosafety, and biosecurity. Allow me to conclude by saying that in spite of our common efforts, there is still much to be done 
in countering bioterrorism threat. The United Nations Counterterrorism Center remains committed to strengthening biopreparedness and bioresponse to protect our people and be resilient towards rapidly evolving threats. We will continue to unite our efforts with those of the United Nations Office of Disarmament Affairs and other international partners to confront these threats. Thank you, and I wish you all the very best.